here's a great exercise to work not only the rotational capacity and earn more intentional external rotation of the shoulder girdle, and more importantly, hip extension, that's how we formulate hip extension, through our hip bridging procedure, and then lengthening all the strings that attach into our posterior chain. In order to achieve this, of course, we go to the ground, from that set ground force, we're going to get our arms into a Y position relative to us earning what I was talking about in respects to that shoulder blade position. We typically have an inclination to rotate inward, which presents a hand position that is offset with the thumbs not necessarily pulling towards the ground. We want our back of our fists or back of our hands flush with that set piece. From here, we choose one leg to bring to the sky. I would launch and do a hip bridge, pulling this in towards the chest, and then progressively kick this out. Keeping all the composure of the position, I like to continue to kick this out, so that my hips drop down slowly. And I'll commit to another rep, of course. Okay, pulling through. And keep the composition of your shoulder blades, hand position, and earning your hip bridge procedure. Things to look out for. I can typically be arched in my lower back. I can pin that before to really earn that glute extension and hip flexor extension, and of course the shoulder blades. As I kick out, I'm gonna point the toe as well. Commit to desired amount of reps on that particular side, and then we switch. 